Hi guys, welcome to this lecture. From in this lecture, we are gonna build. We are gonna start building this website. This is related to the bikers. This is an awesome website. It is usually related to the boys and the young boys and the girls who are interested in the racing. So here you can see that this is the front page. This is the home page. And this is a, a long page here. You can see that this is a header, a slider, and beside these things, its content area is too long. This is a new strategy in it is using by many programmers. Many programmers are built the website like this. It is awesome. We have they have put the post here. These are the posts. You can click on it, read more, and you can read the article about this bike and here is the services and here is the about us little about us and care and sport and the latest news so here is the map and the footer so now here I'm gonna teach you how to create this effect so now let's start we are gonna build the structure of this site and beside this here I have already downloaded the images here are the images of this site and here is the font that we are gonna use and now here I'm gonna create the folder here is and here is the four website and now here I'm gonna cut this folder and here in the four website paste the images and then here is new folder of the CSS it contain the CSS files and the font here is cut this and here it is racing sans one regular so now it is okay and now we have to create the pages and now here I'm gonna create save it as index.html is done here it is here is index.html and now we have to create two new files grid.css and the style.css and here is the style.css in the CSS folder style.css and here is a grid.css here is a grid.css and now here I'm gonna create the structure you have already know how to create the structure but here I want to tell you about the structure of this page first of all create the header then a separate section for the slider then a section for the content area and then we have to create the individual sections for this thing then a section for this thing and post contain post are in a separate section in the content area so all the things or in the home page or in a separate sections and all of these section in the same section and now so now let's create the structure here it is here is the talk type and now it is too time consuming so I'm gonna copy the same code that is in the previous sites and here I'm gonna open this here is here is contact.html from the previous website that is the uh, just like childish website and here I'm gonna copy till the main and here it is cut it and here is paste it and now here remove this thing because we have the fonts and here all the things are inserted here is and now here we have to insert the closing tags of the main and then here is here is HTML and now all things are okay and now here I'm gonna create the structure first of all we have to place the header and here is its closing tag header and then after it we have to create 
the slider in a separate section here is the section and then after it we have to create a content area so the content area is in a separate section here is its closing tag and then the footer and here is the footer and now so now here I'm gonna give the styles to this body and then we will start building this header from the very next lecture here I'm gonna reload the file in the browser load the file in the browser here it is and now let's give the style to the body and then rest of the styles is apply from the next video and here is the body and here it is apply the width 100% because the website is spread on 100% screen here you can see that this slider is 100% width header is 100% width so all the things are 100% so that's why I give it the 100% width and then the padding is 0 and here is the margin is 0 and here is the background is white and then here is the color it is hash 3f 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 color of the text and here is the font is 14 pixel line height here is 25 pixel and now I'm gonna apply the font I'm gonna include the font that is the racing sense one and there is no uh, style is apply uh, on the site because we have not put the content so these are the limited styles and now here I'm gonna include that font here is right font face here is I'm gonna show you the font file here is racing sense one it is the true type font TTF extension and here is font family name I'm gonna give it racing racing one you can give it any name so that's why I have give it racing one and here is the sources URL and here is name and then extension ttf so now it is included and the next thing that i want to give here is the box sizing here is right static i'm going to apply the box sizing on all the elements in the website here is the box and here is sizing and here is border box so now you have already know what is the box sizing so when we give the border box value to the box sizing so the width and the height of any all the HTML elements in the website contain the width and height of the content and when we give the padding or the border to any HTML element now in this site so the width and height is not going to be increased you have already know when we give the padding so the width and height is in, is the increase but now we apply the border box property so width and height of all the elements have the value of padding border and the content so thank you for watching this video i will see you in the next video so from the next video i'm gonna build this header and then we will build this slider and all the things see you in the next lecture